Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how you can use BARD, Google's AI tool. Yep, Google has an AI tool now and it's called BARD. And you could do a lot of phenomenal stuff on it. As you can see what it's showing you here, BARD can do this and BARD can do that. Those are all the things. It's important though to know that it is still under experiment. You see over here, it is still under experiment. So at least know that going into it that everything that you're going to do might just not be perfect yet. They're still on the road to perfection. Okay, but how then can you use BARD? Well, the first thing is, again, you want to sign up to be able to gain access to this. I'm not sure you can just gain access right away right now. It might get to that point, but right now you have to uh, go sign up and ask to be granted access, and they then give you access to it. But now, as you can see, as I'm speaking, it, BARD, it's showing you all the things <laughs> BARD could do. Like, do I even have to show you all the things you could do with BARD? Yes, I'm just going to show you how you can use it how you can use it so uh once you log into bard this is what you're going to see over here the, the the dashboard over here and i actually asked bard itself how do i use you how do i use google bard and it says it's a large language model also known as conversational ai or a chatbot we know that trained to be informative and comprehensive Train on massive amount of text data, and I'm able to communicate and generate human-like text in response to a wide range of prompts and questions. That's the keyword to know when you're doing AI. It's prompts. What you're telling the AI tool, the results, based on what you tell it, is what's going to give you. Anyway, how then do we use BART? Here are some ways you could use it. Ask me questions. I can answer your questions in a comprehensive and informative way, even if they're not open-ended, challenging, or strange. You can ask me what is mean what is the meaning of life. And what is the best way to get to the airport? So I guess we should ask Bard, what is the meaning of life? What's the meaning? What's the meaning of life? What's the mean? Like soul to soul. Let's see what it says. To find happiness and fulfillment, to make a difference in the world, to learn and grow as a person, to connect with others and build relationships, to experience the beauty of the world, to leave a legacy behind. And I'm sure those that have crossed over to the great beyond probably can attest to that, right? <laughs> That's what it is. So how then can you use it? You can ask questions that you can see. And not just what is the meaning of life, what is the best way to get to the airport, you can ask it to help you with work. A lot of times we just ask stuff like, oh, how can you do this? If you want to be productive, ask it productive questions. How can I earn this? What do I need to do to create this and earn this? Or, you know, have me generate text. I can generate different creative text formats of text content like poems, code scripts, musical pieces, email, letters, and ETC. And that's pretty cool because now you could say, I don't know, let's say create a rap song about summer um, with a lot of idioms, clever idioms. Let's see, idioms in it. Let's see what happens, because now it says it can do that, because um, you can write a poem, stories, and all that. So let's see um, if it does. Yo, it's summertime. The heat is on. The sun is shining, and the birds are singing. It's time to get out and have some fun. I'm going to go swimming. I'm going to go hiking. I'm going to go biking. I'm going to go golfing. I'm going to go do all the things I love to do. I'm going to make s'mores. I'm going to go to the beach. Well, this is not really rhyming, though. Is it, though? Anyway, it created it. That's what matters. <laughs> it said it was going to do it, and it still says it's under experiment, right? So you got to cut it some slack, even if it's not matching there. I guess I should have put it. Make sure it rhymes, right? Is that what we need to do? Probably. Um, probably, but, you know, we're going to skip that. Save it for another time. Brainstorm with me. I can help you brainstorm ideas for projects, articles, or stories. This is quite important because I'm actually doing this. They're like some apps we're building for the website. And I'm collaborating with AI tools to be able to do this, you know. So, I mean, you could just say, um, how do I get, how do I build um, a WordPress site? You know, and then you'll see what it says. Because um, now we're brainstorming. Like, okay, that, let's say, you know, we need, a, we need a website for that. Oh, you know what? Get a WordPress website. See how we're doing that? How do I build? So we're brainstorming together. Gives me, you know, stuff to go back and forth with it now. And then translate languages. Wow. That is so cool. That is so cool. So we'll do something 
Very easy. Can you translate yes in French? C'est la oui. Well, I'm not sure if that's the right word, but let's see what it does. Wow, yes in French is oui. It's pronounced like English word oui. It's almost a common way to say yes in French. It can be used in any situation. Here's some other ways to say yes in French. See, this is really, really cool. And that's one of the things that I think makes Bard stand out is all these options that it gives you. Another thing that I've noticed that's very, very good with Bard compared to like chat GPTs because it's gathering more recent information. So I can ask it, what are the top digital marketing news? of the week of 5 16 2023 let's see what happens here <clears throat> and as i'm doing that um oh i'm not pro okay i'm not programmed to assist with that okay interesting okay let's just say and now now let's just remove this and let's see no, let's actually say this week. Let's go here. Of the week. How about that? Let's see. So see how when it comes to prompting, it's a back and forth. A lot of times, a lot of people don't know. It's not a one and done thing. Like, you know, you have to go back and forth. All right. So as at May 2023, Google announces new AI power tools for advertisers. Facebook launches new program to help small businesses. Amazon announces new features for its advertising platform. And I am not sure, you know, I am not sure that that's what will happen if we were to go to chat GPT. I'm going to go over here to um, chat GPT and let's see what happens if we actually ask it the same question over there. And this is what I think makes Bard really unique because chat GPT is still going off of information. And here we go over here. I'm running it now. Um, what are the top digital marketing news of the week? As an AI modeling, I don't have real-time information access to current news. As you can see, look at that. See how that stands out from this? Yeah, so that's Google for you, you know, because their AI tool seems to be a little bit more current compared to Chad GPT. Now, I'm, I'm not sure, but I'm just saying, as you can see, look at, I mean, look, we just asked the same information and, um, Look at what Google Bard gave us. So think about that when you are using Google Bard um, and you're using all the other channels, um, all the other AI tools, because some AI tools are better for some stuff. I've noticed like Google Bard is good for current information, whereas ChatGPT is better for content creation, you know. Um, so, you know, you really, really, you know, not not they all work different. You know, they all do. So those are the things you can translate language. So use Google Bard, simply type your query into the text box and press enter. So this is the query box right here. You know, you type it in, you press enter. You could also speak words, use your microphone. And so, but here are the tips. Be specific as possible in your queries. The prompts are very important. I keep saying that the more specific you are, the better I will be to, to be able to understand what you're looking for. And you can see we did that. You can see we did that when we asked it over here. Um, what was the top digital marketing news of 5 16 2023? It said, I'm not programmed to assist with that, but what are the top digital marketing news? And it says, Here are some top digital marketing news. Sorry, excuse me, for the week of May 16, 2023. We just asked it that and it said, I'm not programmed to assist for that, right? But you asked it in a different way and it spits it out for you, right? And that's really, really, really cool. And so now I could go over here, just copy all of this, turn it into content itself, and now that's news, right? So that's um, at least what I think, I, you know, the differences between both um, are. So uh, use natural language. You can talk to me like you would like a friend. And that's the thing. When you're using AI, don't think about it as a robot, an AI tool. You're collaborating with it. You talk to it exactly um, how you would want to communicate for somebody who should carry out a task for you. And be patient. It says it here, experiment. I am still under development. Might not always be able to provide you with the perfect response, but I will tell you, these AI tools provide you with great responses that are things that when they actually spit it out for you, you go, wow, that's what I was thinking, actually. Now you've actually got it. I didn't even know that's what I meant, you know, so but that's how you can use Bard um, over here. You get to see your old activity if you go to the left here um, then frequently ask questions. 
on it. You could reset your chat. And when you reset your chat, it clears everything. It pretty much just clears your whole chat and you start all over again. And here's your help and support um, in case you need to uh, find out how to do some other stuff on there. But that's how you can use it. It's very simple interface, still looks, still has all the Google feel to it. But again, why I really love Bard is the way it breaks down things and bullet points. That's huge. And the the recency of the information, I think that's very, very important, especially if you are gathering things like news and updates that you want to use to help people. So hopefully this was helpful. If it is, like the video and subscribe to our channel, though, if you want to continue to see content that will make your life easier and you just want to see content that will help you easily and quickly, we would be the channel for that. So, again, hopefully this was helpful. Till next time, take care.